Hi, and welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I am a craft producer here with Makers Gonna Learn, and today we are going to dive in a little bit and talk about the Cricut Foil Transfer Tool. It is new in the crafting world, and so you may have a few questions about it, Hopefully I'm gonna be answering a couple of those today. If you've done any research on this tool, you know that there are three tip options to this tool. So there's the fine tip, the medium tip, and the bold tip, and they do give you different effects for your projects. So today I just wanna compare the three tips to kind of show you what the difference is. Um, and then it might help you determine which tip is best for your project. So we're just gonna compare those today. It's gonna be super quick, super fun, and I'm excited to do it with you guys. Before we get started, if you are new here, this is the first time that you have seen one of our videos. We love crafting here at Makers Gonna Learn and we offer a subscription-based membership to our members um, that gives you access to thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, free teaching e-courses that give you wonderful education on how to use your die cut machine, how to really dive in and be really great in design space. And we give you a free commercial license with our yearly membership as well as lots of other benefits. So if you are not familiar, check out our website, makersgonnalearn.com and join in on all of the fun. Let's get started doing our comparison. I'm gonna jump over into design space. We're gonna be using a Makers Gonna Learn font today to do our comparison. And this is gonna be a great demonstration on what the wonderful Cricut foil transfer tool can do for you. In Design Space, I've gone ahead and put three simple circles here, and then we're going to just grab a text box over from the left, and I'm gonna type in fine, and this will be a representation of our fine tip. Um, I'm not gonna worry about kerning or anything here. Generally, I will say definitely kern your script fonts. That way they look really good, so decrease the letter spacing. But since this just is for demonstration purposes, I won't go through all of that. Uh, so we do have fine here. And again, like I said, we are using a Makers Gonna Learn font. It is our Betty B font. It's a super thin, fine font that looks really great with foil transfer. Now what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste this. And let's see here, we will move it over here and I'm going to type in medium. So I'll delete that, we'll type in medium there. And we well, I'm gonna have to kern this one just a little bit so that it fits on here because I don't want to make the font any smaller. I want the size of the font to be a true representation um, of each point or tip, I'm sorry, each tip. So then I'm just gonna, I duplicate it again and then I'm going to change this one to bold. There we go and I'll move it over. And then the only thing that I need to do is change these lines from cut lines to the foil line. So with each text box selected individually, I'm gonna go up to line type, and then I'm going to press fine, or foil, and then for this one, I'll, I'll select the fine. Then for the medium one, I am going to select medium. And for the bold, I will, you guessed, select bold. So we've got that and then all we need to do now is attach each of these text boxes to our circle. So I have both of the layers selected and I'm pressing attach. One last time here, pressing attached. And then I am just going to press make it and you can see uh, on our map where these line up. So then what you're going to wanna to do is place your cardstock on your map and then you're going to want to place your foil right over basically the middle of these circles where the foil is going to be. Uh, so we're going to load our mat and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished loading it and we will have some fun with this Cricut foil transfer tool. Okay, I do have the mat loaded now and I've put my foil uh, on the cardstock slash mat in the corresponding places on the mat where it will be transferred over. So now I can load this mat into the machine and I can go ahead and install the tool that Design Space is prompting me to install. 
So I just want to show you once I, I, I did load my mat and I selected medium cardstock as my uh, material and you can see over here all the tools that we're going to be using for this particular mat. We have the fine, the medium, the bold and our uh, fine point blade. And so the one that it's telling us to load first is the fine tip. So make sure that you're following these prompts um, and that uh, you're, you're putting the correct tool in so that you're going to get the results that you are hoping to achieve. So we're going to go ahead and load the uh, foil transfer tool in here. We're removing the fine point blade and just putting this in clamp B. And then we can go ahead and press our flashing Cricut button. Now that that is finished, do not unload your mat. It's very important that you do not unload your mat, but go ahead and unload your foil uh, transfer tool and then you can remove that tip there and we're going to go ahead and insert our medium tip because that's what it's prompting us to do. So I just insert it just like that and then we'll put it back in the clamp and press the flash and cricket, but cricket button again. Okay, now we are going to, again, without unloading the mat, we're going to remove the foil transfer tool, push this little button down to grab that tip out, and then we will go ahead and install the bold tip, put that in the clamp, and press the flashing Cricut button again. Okay, we are finished with the foil transfer tool and now we are ready to put our fine point blade back in our machine. Close that clamp, press the flashing Cricut button so that our circles can be cut out. Okay, now we can go ahead and remove our foil here. Just pull that up. And then we can remove the mat from our cardstock. And we can do a little comparison here with our fine, medium, and bold tips. Quite the difference there. I, I love the, the different looks on all of them. I think honestly with this particular font at this size, the medium is my preferred tip. Uh, the bold, I don't know. Um, it almost just looks a little bit too bold for how frilly and sort of fine this font looks. Uh, but again, guys, this is a fantastic way just to see which tip is best for your project. I hope this was helpful to you uh, and that it helps you in your craft adventures. Thank you all so much for watching this fun video on the Cricut foil transfer tool. If you have any other questions about this fun tool, we do have other education about it. We have some other videos. You can search our, our channel for that. Uh, let us know if you have any questions by commenting down below. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to our channel here at Makers Gonna Learn and watch all sorts of wonderful tutorials and crafting projects and lots of different fun things that we have for you guys that will help you with your crafting adventures. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys here another day.